Betting on Famine by Jean Ziegler. Food is a right, declares the author Jean Ziegler, a United Nations special reporter on the right to food from 2000 to 2008. Children starved in their first five years of life cannot recover nutritionally compared to an adult who can recover from starvation. The poorest of the poor live in the rural southern hemisphere, he informs us. Hunger was and is a weapon of war. Hitler created a food, a food agency called the um, Reich Food Corporation. It stole, took, siphoned off, and stored for the Reich. Vitamin deficiencies and disease result from undernutrition. Ghettos and camps were starved to death. Many books about starvation were translated and sold after World War II. A necessity. Food is big money. The obsession with profit, gain, greed of agri-food oligarchies and the financial services industry is predatory. Seed and fertilizers are big bucks, with grains being stored to make prices higher. Yes, head funds are superior to the power of national governments and intergovernmental agencies betting on famine. The auth author offers his insight about the United States State Department refusing to recognize the existence of economic, social, or cultural rights, but recognizing only civil and political rights. He goes on to tell us about the four American ambassadors to the United Nations agencies in Geneva. All four fought against Mr. Ziegler's reports and recommendations. He tells us of children fed school lunches, there being a rule not to remove the food from school. The children eat while thinking of their family members who don't. He does offer us a glimmer of hope. India has a law which fires the district controller if even one person dies of hunger in any of its 6,000 districts. India has a couple of smart people who outwitted the World Trade Organization by the use of the word agriculture. They don't substitute the word food with commodity. He mentions a misconception. The, sh uh, the Africans would not only stop having children all over the place, they would be less hungry. And he uh, brings out that it just isn't so. I'm not sure if I agree or disagree with this one, but there was so much in this book, and it really talks a lot about big business and oligarchies and how it all works. It was well written a non-fiction instructive book to make yourself a little wiser, so please read it. The read educates us about hunger opening our eyes to the powers that be, the gloom coming over the world. So if you can find it at the library, get Betting on Famine, reviewed by Josie Montague.